One of the things I love about Quasar is that there's so many different ways to show progress. And one of those ways is using the Q circular progress component. So let's explore that in this video. Quasar new component slash Q circular progress page. Oh, and it looks like I forgot something. I forgot to put the word page in there. And there we go. That's going to go ahead and build that for us. Q circular progress page. And now we can go ahead and get started. We'll whack the component in to begin with. Save that. Come in here and have a look at the page and notice that nothing is actually showing yet. That's because our circular progress needs a value. And we'll set that to 80 in this example. And there it is. So it's not much to look at. What I might actually do is add a bit of padding here. Class equals Q dash padding or extra large. Yeah, just to push it out a little bit so it's a bit easier to work with. Now, the next thing we can do is change the size. So let's set that to 80 pixels. And there we go. And we've also got a lot of quasi standard sizes, like extra small all the way through to extra large. But we're going to leave that at 80 pixels for now. We can also change the color. Indigo. And there we go. We can also change the thickness. And 0 0.1 is going to make that quite thin. Yeah, and we're actually, we probably want to set that to an actual number. Okay, so 0 0.1. We can also change it to 1, and that's going to make the whole thing filled in. So 1 is like full thickness, 0 is no thickness, and then 0 0.1 is then going to be like a really thin thickness. Let's change it to 0 0.3, something a bit more standard looking. There we go. We can also change the track color. So notice that this part here is white. We want to make that in this example, oh, how about indigo dash two? Yeah, and it just shows that there is a little bit more that it can fill in for. I like that. I think it looks a little bit nicer than having no track color. We can also set the center color, and we can set that in this example to indigo dash one. I think that looks really nice. And we can also set indeterminate. So in that case, it's going to override this value and show a spinner. So for example, maybe you send a request and you don't actually have any progress information yet. You could then set indeterminate to true, like this. Whoop. We can set it to true like this to begin with. And then we could set that to false and the value would take over. So that's really good to know. What else can we do? Well, we can set reverse. And basically, that's just going to flip it to the other side. So notice that when I get rid of it, it's then going to flip back over to the other side. So that's good to know. We can also set the angle. So let's set that to 10. Yeah, and that's just going to move that over a little bit. It looks like it's still reversed. Oh, no, it's not. That's correct. How about we change this to 20? Yeah, just so it's a bit easier to see the angle. So if the angle set to 0, it's going to start from the top. If we go to 180 degrees, that's going to go to halfway point. Yeah, and then 360 will bring it all the way back around to basically where it started. So that's the angle. We can also set the minimum and maximum values. So by default, zero is going to be nothing and 100 will be full. So this basically represents the percentage, zero to 100%. However, we might want 10 to be the maximum value. So we can say minimum is equal to zero, maximum is equal to 10, and then let's set this value to 9. Yeah, and so that's almost a 10, meaning it's almost full. And if we set it to 10, then that's going to fill it up. So that's good to know. Let's move it back to, how about 50% for now? Cool. Another thing we can do is say instant feedback. And basically, that removes the animation. So if I set this to 0, have a look at what happens when I press Save. Instantly, it goes to 0. If I go to 100, instantly it goes to 100. If I get rid of instant feedback now and set it to zero, we get an animation. So check this out. Oh, it looks like it didn't happen there. Let's go to 100. Yeah, there we go. So maybe 100 to zero doesn't work. Oh, no, it does. I probably just needed to save it and like get it to refresh itself. So that's good to know. Instant feedback is going to remove that animation. What else? How about we move this back to 50%. Yeah, and another thing we can do is show the value. So we might want to actually show this 50 value in the center. And to do that, we can say, show value. And it pops up in the center there. 
Now, if I don't have show value and I try and throw something inside of here, so for example, maybe L, notice that nothing shows up. As, and you would probably expect something to show up here. However, in order to get the slot to work, you have to say show dash value. So by saying show dash value, it enables this default slot here. So that's really important to know. And now what we can do is we can say Q dash icon and throw an icon in there, for example. Uh, maybe, this is, maybe this is showing the volume. So then we could say volume underscore up, refresh the page. And now we have that volume button. And then we could show the value like this. Yeah, just an example of some stuff that you can do inside there. Now, if we put in here font dash size, this is different to the size value. Font size is going to change the font size inside of the component. So it's going to change the inner slot here's font size. So let's set that, for example, to uh, maybe 16 pixels. Okay, so notice the size is 16 pixels. I can make this really big, like 300, but that's still going to stay at a size of 16 pixels. Okay, so just so you know how to style that properly. And that's pretty much it. The last thing I wanna show you is something I intend to do with this site eventually. So what you might wanna do is put some text in here that says, hey, this is how much of the course you have completed. So kind of like a course completion text. How about we put in here, course completion, something like that. Refresh the page, often with slots, you have to refresh the page. Okay, but notice it's not really showing properly. So what we can do is extend the size here, maybe to 200 pixels. Yeah, however, notice that if I put it to 180, it starts to bleed over the edges there. So what you could do, and this is just one way you could do it, is you could say the class here is equal to Q dash padding or dash large. Okay, so that's put some padding. Oh, we have to actually whack this inside there. Yeah, okay, so that hasn't quite done it yet. If I just select this component, notice that it's pushed the padding in a little bit, but I think we need to move it in a little bit more. So let's make that extra large. Yeah, so that just means that it's not going to bleed over the edges now. And I'll also want to text dash center this. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good course completion, and then it shows you how much of the course is completed. And then if you've completed 70%, then that's going to move and change for us. I reckon that's really cool. It's so simple to use, and that's gonna be easy for me to implement because Quasar makes it ridiculously simple using the Q Circular Progress component. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next video.